We'll give Ian medication to increase his cardiac output. But unfortunately, he has not responded the way we hoped. What does that mean? We need to replace his valve now, or he won't make it through the week. What options do we have? There are two kinds of valves, mechanical and biological. The biological ones are made up of tissue from humans or animals. Uh, w which one is the best? Mechanical ones are stronger. And they last longer. But they're more susceptible to clotting, which can result in stroke or death. So Ian would have to be on anticoagulants for the rest of his life. And those drugs, of course, carry some risks of their own, such as increased bleeding from minor injuries. Well, then it's biological. The biological ones have less risk of clotting, but they break down much faster. Break down? Yeah. So he'd have to go through these surgeries again? In all probability, yes. Maybe several times. There has to be another option. Wish there were. Technology just isn't there. Oh, excuse me. I, I have to make a phone call. I forgot. What kind of a choice is this? Medication that could make a, a simple nosebleed fatal or surgery after surgery. And, and no matter which one we choose, I mean, Ian could still die. Well, we'll make the right choice. We'll, we'll manage. I don't want to manage, okay? I don't. I want him happy and, and safe and, and good. I, I gotta get some air. I gotta get out of here. Kendall, uh, all right? Yeah, Ryan's with her. Time is critical, so let me know your decision as soon as you make it. We will. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joe, for everything. We're going to get him through this. I'm, um... I'm going to see Spike. I'm going to get him to change your clothes and toys from your place. Is there anything that I can get for you? No, I'm good. Hey, Ryan. Give Spike a hug for me, please. I will. This is your genius idea to save Chandler Enterprises? To experiment on a child? And not just any child. Zach and Kendall's son. No, forget it. This little boy will die without a new valve. No, 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 no. There are plenty of valves that have been tested and proven. He will not die. Instead, you want to take a fresh out of the box prototype and stick it into a toddler. If his parents approve. This valve could change Ian Slater's life. No more operations, no more anti What if it doesn't work? We have a chance to save a life. You know, you like to throw that flag around. I want to save lives, save the world. Well, Kendall happens to be a dear friend of mine who I care about very much, and I'm not going to take any chances with her son's life. You're letting your personal feelings interfere with business. Oh, come on, Dad. Tell me you're not going along with this. What if something goes wrong? How are you going to face Erica if Ian dies and you're responsible? You should share some of our optimism. Optimism? Mm -hmm. Would you be so optimistic if little Adam needed the valve transplant? Fortunately, my grandson is healthy. But because it's Ian Slater and has no Chandler blood, who cares, right? It could save his life. The company. That's what this is about, saving the company. No. Find someone else, an adult who can weigh the decision based upon the risks. I have already run this by Jake. He thinks the prototype is perfect for Ian. He is talking to Zach and Kendall then, now. Then find another candidate. Call him up. Put the phone down. No, I will not go along with we, this. We don't have time for this now. No time. Have you seen the numbers? Chandler Enterprises is on a crash course. 
This is a chance for us to save the company and Ian. Both of them. Both worlds. Best thing. We need to make this happen. No, no I think that this is a mistake. I hope you're having good dreams, baby boy. Hey. Um, I'm sorry for interrupting. Whatever it is can wait. I have a, an option for Ian that I think might interest you. We've discussed the options with your dad. Well, my dad isn't familiar with this particular option. There's a, a prototype that has the longevity of a mechanical valve minus the risk of clotting. So Ian would need more operations or medication? That's, uh, well, yeah, that's the idea. And why wouldn't Joe know about that? Because the device hasn't been approved yet. I'm guessing Dr. Martin hasn't gotten to the part where your son would be used as a guinea pig for a valve that is yet to be tried on human beings. You want to use our son as a guinea pig? It's not quite as extreme as Dr. Hayward here would have you believe. This valve has been developed for years. It just hasn't made it to the marketplace because of a lack of funding. And lucky for no one, Adam Chandler bought the patent, infused just enough money into the lab so they could finish the prototype. Now he's desperate for FDA approval so he could start making money. Is this true? I'm, I'm sure that Adam would like to make a return on his investment. And I'm sure he didn't make any shortcuts either. I'm just telling you that according to Dr. Chappelle's uh, test results and uh, all the documentation from the Chandlers, this valve is little Ian's best chance at a full recovery. No, I wouldn't go that far. Not with you holding the scalpel. I've done plenty of uh, valve replacements. I'm, I'm more than qualified. Yeah, you almost that. killed my wife. Stay away from my son. So listen, the prototype is yours. I, I will gladly step aside. You can get another doctor. Really? So you'd give up the bright lights, the interviews, the write-ups in the medical journals? That's ego stroking, and that's more your thing. I gotta get upstairs. We should decide quickly, so let me know. Okay. So what do you really think? Is this prototype Ian's best chance? With the right doctor, it could be. Dr. Max is section 456. Transplanting a heart into a coma patient was a big risk, too. I mean, every other doctor had written me off. But you did it. You saved my life. Please, please, David, save my sons. I thought I had all the answers I needed in life. Then you and Spike showed up. Without a whole new set of questions. A whole new level of loving somebody. I know you and Spike had to fight a lot. You're gonna have to keep fighting now. And I'll help you any way I can. We got a choice to make. I was saying you're too small to make it yourself, so it's uh, to me and your mom. We just don't want to make a mistake. You know, my father wouldn't be pushing this valve surgery if he was 100%. Why not? We're going to save a life, probably hundreds of lives. Look, Scott, I'm on board about saving lives. But this is not the way. If it works, everybody wins. But if it fails, a child dies. And I can't live with that. Can you? Please tell me you'll do it, David. Please tell me you'll save Ian's life with this new valve. Our oh, son is no guinea pig. I think I made that clear. Okay, Zach, you're being unreasonable. Look, look. Look, there's articles on the valve and what a huge medical advance it is. It could be his best option. His best option is to use something that's already been proven in the market. I understand that, but if we use those, he'll have to go through more operations and he'll need more medication. David, please talk to him. Kendall, I'm sorry. It's not my place, nor my decision. All right. I know it's a big risk, but the Chandlers wouldn't be offering the prototype unless they're sure that, that it's viable. Plus, we'll be having one of the best cardio surgeons in the world doing the operation, right? 
There's no doubt I'm the most qualified surgeon you'll find around here. But that doesn't mean I'll operate on your son.